everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Sunday, June 16th, 2019. I got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First quick note, if you have yet to become a member at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video and you get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free 60 bucks for any of my daily packages or anybody else for that matter over at DocSports.com. Again, all you gotta do is click on the link below the video, get yourself started, get yourself a free $60 account, give DocSports.com a trial run. All right, here's what we did yesterday, two and one. Nice day overall. We lost in the NBA with a total. We had two elite level plays outside of the WNBA. We won again in Major League Baseball. We are 4-0 this week with elite level plays. Uh, yesterday we cashed with the Mets and we're now not only 4-0 this week, but up $2,300 for those jumping on board with our elite level plays. This week alone, wagering just $100 per unit. That's in Major League Baseball. We also cashed in the CFL. We had just one play this week. We always start out slowly in the NFL. Just one play and we won with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers on the road. They opened up about a two, two and a half point dog. They went to a short favorite in some houses on Saturday and then went on to beat the BC Lions on the road in BC 33 to 20. Uh, so off to a winning start. We're now 106 and 74 with our last 180 CFL releases, folks. Nearing 60% against the spread over the last several years. Our next CFL card will be posted Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. We'll have the entire weekend of CFL picks available at that time only at DocSports.com. Right here's what's going on for us on Sunday. Got a baseball play again. As I mentioned, we've been red hot this week, and now I've got a play that goes early about one o'clock eastern 10 a.m pacific i think you'll like the, the line on this particular game and uh, it's over at docsports.com after 11 30 a.m eastern 8 30 a.m pacific again it is an early game on sunday don't miss out strike while the iron is hot it's over again at docsports.com we're also going to have wnba we'll have a four unit play from sunday's card also posted at 11 30 a.m eastern time on sunday docsports.com all right let's jump right back into our thumbnail sketches in the NFL. We are looking at the Carolina Panthers on today's report. The over-under win total was once eight. It's now down to seven and a half. Tell you what, it really is weird the way Ron Rivera's Carolina Panthers every other year do so well. The odd-numbered years this team has been unbelievable. I don't think it's as simple as that when you're handicapping this team and whether or not you think 2019 is going to be a banner year or not for the Carolina Panthers really comes down in you know to Cam Newton's shoulder. I mean, last year he has the shoulder injury. Remember, they were 6-2, and two, that they only win one of their last eight games. He had off-season shoulder surgery, and all indications, here we are in mid-June, all indications are saying that his shoulder is looking good. His shoulder is fine. That's obviously great news for the Carolina Panthers and their offense. So I think Cam will be fine from all indications. Again, we'll know more as we get closer uh, to the month of August and preseason football. But you got to like the offense overall if he's fine because you've got a better offensive line than we saw last Last year. You've got a real nice receiving uh, crew, in, including uh, his favorite target for the last few years now, Greg Olson. You've got Christian McCaffrey, who looks like the Incredible Hulk, if you haven't seen him yet. So listen, I expect good things from this Carolina offense in 2019, as long as Cam's shoulder is fine. And again, all reports say that his shoulder is looking good. Defensive side of the football last year was garbage. Man, they gave up the ninth most touchdowns in the NFL. They couldn't get to the opposing quarterback, but I like what they did in the offseason, especially going out and getting Gerald McCoy from Tampa Bay. Right away, this guy's going to make a difference up front, getting to opposing quarterbacks, you'd have to think. I also like what they did with a couple of other acquisitions. I like the draft pick, the kid out of Florida State. I think this team is going to be solid, going to be better on defense. Offense is going to be good. As, as far as the schedule is concerned, folks, you look at those first couple of games, they do play at Tampa Bay second, right after opening up against the Rams. Uh, they are a three-point home dog to the Rams as we speak. I saw one shop out of about 18 on my screen on my line service uh, that had two and a half, but mostly threes. And again, if they can come out of that one and one, uh, let's say they lose to the Rams or lose to the Bucks and win the other one. If they can come out of that one and one, got a good shot at four and two going into their week seven bye. The, the problem with the schedule isn't early on to me. It isn't middle of the schedule. It's towards the end of the season. The final four home games for Carolina Go check them out, man. They play a potential playoff contender each of those final four weeks.
weeks, really good teams. And if those four teams are in the mix for a potential playoff spot and have to bring it all four weeks, it is going to be a tough way to close the season. So I don't think you're going to see a 10-win season out of Carolina, but I think nine is a definite possibility. I really do believe if Cam Newton's shoulder is healthy, if all reports are correct right now as we speak, I think the team has a real good shot at nine wins and at worst eight wins. That puts us up over seven and a half. An opinion on the Carolina Panthers over seven and a half wins. All right, our next thumbnail sketch will be the New Orleans Saints, and we'll talk about the Saints and their over under wins prop on Monday's report. Uh, before I get to the free pick, again, a real quick note. I've got that big baseball play going on Sunday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific, over at DocSports.com. It's been a great week. Elite level plays, 4-0 this week, up $2,300 for those wagering, just $100 per unit. Go grab that, 11.30 a.m. Eastern. At the same time, my next WNBA play, a four-unit, goes on Sunday also. All right, let's get to our free pick for Sunday. We're going to look at a total, and it's the matchup between the Cardinals and the Mets, the total nine as I cut this video. You've got Dakota Hudson who's going to go for the Redbirds in this particular clash against Jason Vargas of the Mets. First, let's talk about the two offenses. Neither team has figured it out at the plate in the situation they are in today. You look at the Cardinals in day games against lefties, They've not been able to score too many runs. They're around three and a half runs per game, a little bit less. As far as the Mets are concerned at, uh, excuse me, in day games against righties, well, the Mets are under 3.8 runs per game uh, so far this season. So you're looking at offenses that struggle in this spot. Look at Dakota Hudson for the Cardinals. Dakota Hudson has been outstanding over his last several starts. He's given up like 13 earned runs in 48 and two thirds innings. And if he could just get his walks down a little bit more, we'd have more trust in him playing on him on side bets. As far as the Mets are concerned, Jason Vargas, he's been outstanding also at home. We look for these two teams uh, to stay under the total, lower scoring game. Again, the total's nine. Our free pick for today is we look to go to 10 and one the last 11 days with free picks, under nine between the cards and the Mets on Sunday. All right, go grab the plays for Sunday, baseball and WNBA. If you like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Sunday in the win column right back here Monday about 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific, a little bit before that with our next report. Best of luck on Sunday.